Good morning guys. Um, today is Thursday and I actually was not going to um, vlog today but then I got something in the mail that I wanted to share with you guys and kind of talk about. Um, and then yeah that's pretty much it. Maybe I'll vlog. I know I can't vlog up internship but maybe I'll vlog my makeup after I get ready and whatever happening whatever is happening tonight but I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around so I can show you what I got in the mail. So I got this week's or this month's Ulta um, ad or magazine or whatever you want to call it and I was going through it and there are some things I just wanted to talk about. So they have this new benefit. It's called the, what is it called? Professional License to Blot Instant Oil Blotting Stick. And I have tried a sample of the professional. I thought it was all right. I've never tried the professional powder, but this seems interesting to me. It seems almost like um, one of those Mally, um, like, things. You know what I'm talking about. That cover girl came out with as well. The other thing I want to talk about is these photo filter um, powder foundations from Smashbox. I heard that these are so good, but $44 for a powder or $42 for a powder, I just can't even think about that. Like, that's crazy. I, I've also heard that this primer water is amazing. $32 is a little expensive, but I think I could choke that one down. I do want to try this. Um, I want to talk about these Bare Mineral... Um, shade extensions eyeshadow palettes is what they're called these are really nice i swatched them in store and they are really pigmented and really nice i wish i could pick up one of those moving on this also this is the tarte amazonian butter lipstick in this limited edition shade ethereal pink that is so pretty i swatched that in store as well and i wish i can get my hands on that these Japanese things, they have this velvet touch primer, which I want to say is probably going to be a dupe of like the hourglass. I'm sorry, I can't keep this still. The hourglass mineral veil. Um, it says it's weightless gel to create an invisible skin canvas that smooths and mattifies the complexion that makes makeup last all day. This seems interesting to me, but $32 for a Japanese product. I've never even tried Japanese before, so we'll see how if I can get my hands on that. And then the Luminous Foundation doesn't sound interesting to me. What else? Oh, these Zoya Satin Nail Polish looks look pretty cool. I think the one other thing I want to talk about was all the new Ulta brand products. I swatched these in store and they weren't as impressive as I thought they were going to be. Um, I am interested in this Demi Matte Foundation. These I also saw in store. These are like brow liquid eyeliner type things. Um, I would be afraid to purchase that and use it. Um, when I was in store, they only had this highlighter and not this one. If I was to buy either of them, I would probably buy this one. So maybe next time if they have that, I'll pick that up. I also looked at these matte lip creams and none of the shades really like in store. None of the shades drew me in. This shade looks pretty nice. I don't know if I saw that in store. I wish they would have the shade name of it. This is an Ulta concealer that's new. I tried their old concealer and it wasn't that great. So I don't know if I would try this one. Um, and I think that is everything I wanted to talk to you guys about. So yeah, I'll update you guys in a little bit. I'm probably going to go downstairs and eat breakfast and then take a shower. All right, guys. So I finished getting ready um, for my internship and my makeup is done. My hair is done and I am dressed. I'm just wearing, well, I was going to show you in the mirror, but it, I'm literally just wearing this sweater and um, dress pants. So I wanted to show you my makeup quick. Let me get what I used so I can show you. No. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, um, on the eyes, I did a neutrally pink look using, um, this Physician's Formula Shimmer Brick. 
thing. Um, I used like this pink row for on the lid and then like a mix of just these colors in the crease and then highlighted with the top row. So that's what you see there and then just for a little extra shimmer on the lid I used ColourPop's Tea Party and that's the like shiny shimmer you see on the inner half and then everything else is pretty much the same. Foundation, bronzer, um, same mascara, same eyeliner. And then on the lips, I have the Rimmel Show Off Lip Lacquer in Celestial. And that's what it looks like. So, yeah, I just kept it pretty light and pink to go with my sweater and just to keep it light in general because um, it's a professional kind of atmosphere. So, that's pretty much it. I have about an hour until I have to leave so I'm probably going to make lunch and um make lunch and watch America's Next Top Model so I'll check in with you guys probably not until after um I'm done hi guys so it is the next day it is Friday the 20th um I didn't finish vlogging yesterday because um I got home really late for my internship and it went really well. I really enjoyed um, the experience I got there. I'm excited to go back. Um, but I got home pretty late from that and then I ate dinner and then I just <laughs> didn't do anything for the rest of the night. I did some laundry, I folded some towels, I watched YouTube videos, and I watched the two hour finale of Mentalist with my mom. Um, and I love the way that ended. I'm so sad that, the, that I can't talk. <laughs> I'm so sad that it's ending. Like the show's just not coming back and that was like the finale finale. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna miss it, but I couldn't have asked for it to end like in any of a better way. So I'm just gonna lump the footage I get today. <laughs> if you guys hear a bird, that's my clock. It makes a bird noise, a different bird noise every hour. It is right up there and you see it. Okay, that's enough. Okay, it was done. So, what was I saying? Oh, I'm just going to lump this footage in with yesterday's because um, I don't know if I'm actually going to get a lot today. Um, I'm just, right now, just woke up. I'm going to do some yoga and then um, I'm going to probably eat breakfast and then I have some homework I have to do and then I have to shower and get ready and I know I'm hanging out with Zach tonight. So, um, and in between there, probably just watch TV. So, I'll talk to you guys in a little so, bit. So, this is my yoga setup, just in case you guys wanted to know. I put my mat on the floor. It's Dream Gear from, actually, Wii. <laughs> this is a mat, a yoga mat that came with the Wii. But it's, like, just like a normal yoga mat, and I just use it. It works perfectly fine. I set up my iPad on this table and so I can watch the YouTube videos that I watch, which I'll talk about in a second, and I just follow along with them. So the ones that I use are the Do You Yoga 30 Day Yoga Challenge with Erin Motts, and over the summer I did almost all 30 days, and I've, pre my cat's here right now, I've taken a break from doing yoga recently, so I'm starting with day one again, but I really love them, and some of the things, if you find you can't do, I find I can't do some of them, I just improvise and um, and sometimes they give you suggestions and then sometimes I just improvise by going into child's pose or something else I know how to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. It's about 15 minutes long. Sometimes I do one, sometimes I do two, but I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, update from earlier. I still have not gotten ready, um, but it is 12.50. So since I updated you guys, I had done three practices of yoga. The first one I did was just like a waking up morning type of practice. It just hit every part of your body really lightly. And then the second one I did was yoga for runners. And I did, I'm not a runner, um, but I did that one because I felt that my hamstrings and my calves were kind of um, tight lately. And so that um, practice just hits those muscles really well and stretches them out. And then the third one I did was to strengthen thin the like spine area and it was also a meditation yoga so it just really focused on sitting up straight and making your shoulders less tense and focusing on your breath so I did those three 
then I watched a little TV and now I'm making lunch and it's Friday again which means I can't eat meat so I was I was going to um, make mac and cheese but I honestly don't feel like it that's too much work so what I'm doing is I am eating a ramen, which I really don't like eating ramen, not because I don't like them, but because the sodium levels in them are like sky high. But it's like the only other thing that I feel like making and that I can eat. I really don't want to eat like um, waffles or anything like that um, just because that's all just carbs. So I'm going to eat a ramen and a Greek yogurt that is mixed berry flavor. It's already open slightly. Um, so I was opening it as I felt the need to update you guys. So that's what's happening. And then probably after that, I'm going to work a little on homework and then shower and get ready. So I'll talk to you guys Hi in a guys. Bit. So I finally showered and I got ready. My hair is slightly crazy because after I showered, I didn't do anything to it I just let it air dry and I put my bangs back while I did my makeup um but this is that's too much light let me step back a little this is how the makeup turned out I am in love with my eyes I think because I am really happy with how my makeup turned out today I'm going to kind of do what is this hair doing I'm going to kind of do a um face of the day video and I'm not sure if I'm going to upload that or if I'm going to save it to do a makeup of the week type video. Um, so if you want to know details on this face, make sure you stay tuned for that video. Um, other updates, Zach is getting out of work in an hour and then we're going to go out to dinner probably um, with my cousin and probably to some place where we can get something that does not include meat. Toby is barking at a neighbor pulling into my driveway. Um, so yeah, going to some place where I can get like fish or something like that. And then, did I mention my cousin might be coming with us? I don't know if I did. Um, and then Deb emailed me and said they had their prom dresses because, because when Deb first started going out of business, I went there to see if they had prom dresses because that's where I got my prom dress from last year and they had nothing. So now they just emailed me saying that they brought out all their prom dresses. So I'm probably going to stop over there tonight. Um, to see what they have, to see if it's worth going back with my mom to try them on and look at them. So those are my plans, and I'll talk to you guys hey on guys. a little bit. Update again. It's been about 20 minutes since I did that last update. I did, however, um, film that makeup of the day video. I decided to make it a makeup of the day instead of a makeup of the week, just because I know I'm starting school soon um, in two days on Monday. So I feel like... On Mon like literally Monday through Friday my makeup is my everyday makeup routine and that would get so boring and then the video wouldn't be up for at least two weeks so I decided to do makeup of the day so that you guys can see what I did do today and all the products I used um, fairly soon probably uploading tomorrow um, and also since then I'm trying to find the best light to show you but I kind of curled my hair a little. I noticed my hair wasn't as straight as I wanted it to be. And I didn't want to straighten it. Just because I've straightened it the last, like, forever. I literally have not curled my hair, kind of, since I got my hair cut. Um, so I decided to... I didn't really want to curl it. I just kind of wanted to add some, like, wave to it. Because I was noticing some natural wave on this side and this side. So I just added with my wand some kind of wavy materials. I did nothing too curly I think I'm trying to show you like around my head if this is even working um I did nothing too curly and I made sure to kind of shake it out I did hairspray it um just so it'll last so that is the most recent update <laughs> I feel like this vlog is gonna be forever but whatever maybe you guys will like longer vlogs so I'll talk to you guys in a little bit so I'm in the car and Zach got me and we're on our way to dinner. I thought I'd update you guys. He's right there. He's dirty because he just got out of work. So Say hi. Bye. No, say hi. Hi. <laughs> that was my cousin. <laughs> she says she looks like a lesbian so she doesn't want to be seen, which is true. But, <laughs> hey. <laughs> um, we're drinking Dunkin' Donuts. Shit. And I've never drinking, drinking? 
drunk <laughs> Dunkin Donuts before? I think it's good. <laughs> he doesn't like it, and she doesn't like it. No, I actually kind of do like it, but I know. All right, guys, so I'm home. I'm going to try to keep this clip really short because this vlog is kind of long. I showed you um, some clips from tonight. I just hung out with Zach and my cousin, as you know. Why does my hair look so weird? What the heck? Um, okay, anyways. Um, so I hope you guys liked this kind of double vlog between yesterday and today and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.